And yes, it is a pretty extraordinary situation, isn't it? Just almost coming up to 12 hours after polls have closed and the dust is beginning to settle. Uh, well, let's get more reaction on what this means for the country and for our politics. I'm delighted to be joined live on College Green outside Parliament now by the former Labour adviser John McTernan and the Conservative commentator Tim Montgomery. Um, John, first of all, uh, the Labour Party advancing in London, but perhaps not so much elsewhere where in the country? Well, it's great to be here in the Labour borough of Westminster to be talking to you. And I think the symbolic uh, nature of the win in Westminster will be worrying a lot of Tories. And I think, looking at the perspective, Boris Johnson's platform for becoming leader and now Prime Minister was because he could win London. So for the Tories to lose so badly in London and say, oh, it's London, I think it should be a worry for them. And starting to look at the broader South and South East, I think Labour making gains on the coast, the Liberals making gains in the South West. It feels to me as though there's an anti-Tory coalition across the country, which when you map out the results, is going to be very worrying for backbench Tory MPs. That's an interesting point. We've spoken a lot about London, but actually the south-east and the south-west. That's becoming a problem for the Conservatives as well. Yeah, look, um, John is right to say that Labour have done well in London, but I don't think Tories expected, you know, Barnet and Wandsworth to stay blue. I think Westminster was a shocker, that's um, true. But overall, the Tories may be wrong about this, but they think they can defeat Labour. They don't think the focus has been on Labour yet in any way that will be the case during a general election. The Tories are much more worried, I think, about a Liberal Democrat surge. I call them the, uh, the bindweed of politics. You call them the dry rot of dry politics. Rot, yeah. <laughs> Once they sort of have invaded an area, you know, they hold on to an area. And the Tories aren't really sure of how to beat Lib Dems, um, you know, over a, over a short period of time. And I think we're going to see results in Somerset, where every uh, source I have tells me is going to be very bad. We've seen West Oxfordshire. We've seen other parts like uh, in Wimbledon, where the Liberal Democrats are showing the kind of tenacity and invasiveness that uh, was true sort of 10, 20 years ago before the coalition years. And that will be what will really worry Tory MPs, I think. In the run-up to these elections, the Conservative Party chairman, Oliver Dowden, was talking about a potential pact that may have been done between the Liberal Democrats and the Labour Party. Now, we know that there was some sort of pact in 1997, or at least the, the beginnings of that. Is that what we're seeing now as well? I think what we're seeing is a pact amongst the voters. The voters looking around which party can hit at the Tories the most. Uh, and in some areas, like which party can hit at the ruling party in the council. So it could be the Lib Dems, it could be the Greens uh, at, at against the Labour Party. There is a local element, but I don't think there's any formal pact. There's no need for one. If the country's decided it wants to chuck the Tories out, then the country will use whichever party it wants. That, for me, would be the worry if I was a Tory, is that, that the Liberal Democrats outside London, the only people who can beat the Lib Dems in the South West turned out to be the Lib Dems by going into coalition. They've got over the coalition thing now. So some areas returning to be Lib Dem. And you're going to see, I think, a very when we look at the national share of the vote and then apply it to the, to, to, to the parliamentary seats, it feels to me you're going to see very efficient use by voters of their vote to send a message to the Tories. So it will not look like a massive Labour surge across the country but it will like, look like a, a Tory just, collapse. Just briefly, I think the one problem with this argument is the Greens. If the Greens start to invade too many of these sort of churches, that confuses the picture. And if people start to vote Green in significant numbers and the Greens have well, done well in these elections, then that could be the difference in certain seats for the Liberals or Labour winning those tactical voting contests.